Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today I've got a problem with this radio like I've said in one of my previous uh, videos and it doesn't turn on properly because the front this piece here has buckled it's up here in the sun um, I've tried various things to get it straight uh, warmed it up and then put pressure on it to try and get it straight I flatted the back of it with some sandpaper to try and get it to sit flatter what it is this part here which makes contact with this here is not quite doing what it's supposed to do so I think I've come up with a solution I'll show you what it actually does it's really annoying I'll turn that on and as you can see it doesn't come on if I put some pressure on it it turns on as soon as I let go it goes off and I've been for weeks and weeks and weeks driving around with a piece of paper wedged in here and uh, I need to do something about it because not only does it when I've got the piece of paper wedged in here it does turn on but then as you're going down the road it suddenly increases the volume to maximum uh, that's because it's got a bad connection so I'm going to do something about that today and uh, I've come up with a plan I'll turn the ignition off I've come up with a plan of what I'm going to do because it's got uh, this here I don't know if you can see that where it clips in it sits inside here and what I think I'm going to do is drill a small hole through here into this and clip it in with a little pin and do the same on the other side to keep holding that in if that makes any sense so I'm going to get my drill and see where we go from there and uh, here are a new toy got this one from Aldi's it's a drill kit and wasn't that expensive used a couple of them and they're, they're nice and sharp what I like about it is that you've got loads of the little ones that you normally break there's a pile of them so what I think I'll do is I'm going to use a one and a half mil drill bit to drill a little hole because I have got some pins of the one and a half mil variety so leave that there and uh, I'll see if I can find a pin to match this one and a half mil drill if so this is the one I'll use well, I've got four little tiny pins cut I'm in my little magnetic tray there and uh, what I'm going to try and do that should push in and it does it pushes in at the bottom so I think maybe I can just get away with a pin at the bottom and one at the other side and going to need drilling just here we'll do put that into position got my little drill here and I need to drill it can't really see here get some more light on the subject that's more like it if I can see what I'm doing and now what I'm going to do oh, is try and get through here I'm going to try and drill a hole just there if I can while holding that in Done 
that. Now, put a little pin in there. holding it in place I've just got to do the same on the other side right. I hope you can see that and drill a little hole in there if I can actually see what I'm doing How much movement there is on that? Oh, do do it. Oh, I can't see. I can't see and I can't reach. I think I can just about manage now. What I'll do is hold this in. And do two holes. One here. One down the bottom here, like that. And I'll put these little pins in, which I can actually pull out if I need to, if I need to access it. I can, and I'm hoping. this will hold the front in enough I don't know that seems a little bit loose to me let's try the top one like that that's better and now a little one at the bottom press that with that seems to have gone in holding and see if it works ok it's now the moment of truth Aha! It's there. I'll just turn it down. That's it. But that looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. And the other thing was, this has a pop-up screen. And it would never pop out without the thing turning off. And that is sorted. Let's turn that off so you can see without the glare. And uh, yeah, it's a touch screen. So USB. No USB, USB 2. There you go. Absolutely brilliant well chuffed with that um, doesn't look too unsightly but it's it saves buying another well I can't buy another front for this this is a Chineseium special and uh, I think it was about 80 or 90 pounds to buy and uh, the reason it's warped is because I've had to fit it up here on top of the dash because of the flip up screen let's see if we can get rid of that Excellent. There you go. So job jobbed. And uh, yeah, that will conclude today's video. Bit shorter video. I hope it helps somebody. 
because I bet there's other people with problems like this warped front on their radio uh, basically it's scrap because you can't do anything with the front so by drilling three little holes in that it's made it usable for a while and I can still access it to get at the USB plugs behind and if I leave it for any length of time I can actually take these pins out and take the front off but uh, yeah well chuffed with that thank you very much for watching and uh, if you've enjoyed this please like and subscribe and uh, come back to something next week um, maybe a bit more interesting but I uh, just thought that might help people thank you very much for watching bye now